Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. Uh, I am Tabitha Brown, and this is my lovely husband. I'm Chance, what's up? Bring the beat in. It was a little late. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. But on boom boom. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. Hey. Oh, this is because that's hey. a jet lag I, I, robot. <clears throat> when you gonna wash that off your hands? That make your hands look nasty. I, I'm, it was Whoa, cute, wait, no, hold on, wait a no, minute. No, seriously, wait. Like, like, you got people hold on. Time out. But first of all, first of all, bang. It's about time for you to clean that. You just disrespected a whole lot of people in their culture. I didn't um, disrespect yeah, a whole did. lot of people. You said make your hand look nasty. This is henna. It is uh Well, I don't think the is, henna is there anymore. It ain't It is, okay. So y'all can see. Y'all see that right mm -hmm, there? Mm-hmm. Um, it says it lasts about 10 days. Today is uh, day seven. <laughs> this, yeah, this is about almost day seven, day six. I got this in the desert in Dubai. It was on this part. Now, this part do look a little. <laughs> do, they do look a little you dirty. You need to go get this right alcohol here. and finish that on off. You like Babe, mm -mm. just allow it to mm -mm. be. It's mm -mm. going to wear off for the next couple of days. This, don't try to take my memory away. First of all, how did this turn into a tag tag? No, I was trying to help you. I was just telling you about to be out here in front of people so people don't be looking at you. Let thinking. me look at your hands. You tab, ain't got no henna, but tab. you got dirty in that fingernail. Henna in your fingernail? Mm. Checkmate. Hello there. Your palm's uh, still nasty. I'm saying, I'm trying to help you, babe. See, see what happens. No, 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 no. mm. Didn't we just come back from Dubai? Yeah, that's why I was trying to tell you. Years I'm of trying, look, I was just trying to be nice so people out here think that my wife was nasty. All you had to say was, you look like you got all, boo boo on your hand. That's all I'm saying. You look like you got something. All you had to say was, babe, how long that hand gonna last? Cause it's starting to fade. It ain't looking like it was looking. That's what I said. That ain't what you said. That's exactly that ain't how what I you said. said. That's how I said it. I said, hey, babe, when you gonna get this off your head and it ain't looking right? That's what I said. Roll the tape back, JR, so the people can see exactly what he said. When you gonna wash that off your hands, it make your hands look nasty. Well, that's what I meant. You just, I don't know what it is. Okay, so this is about, <clears throat> we recapping Dubai. <laughs> we celebrated Dubai. Uh, our anniversary, 20 year wedding anniversary, 25 years together, we went to Dubai to celebrate. Beautiful place. It was amazing. We went with our friends, uh, Melissa and Kev on stage, had an amazing time. Um, it started, the time, the, the, the fun started on the flight, okay? On the flight, baby. What you, what, what, what you think about the flight, babe? I think that it should be illegal to fly any other way. <laughs> Every time I fly, that's, a, that's, that's what I expect. That's what you expect. Yeah. We flew on Emirates. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a straight flight to Dubai. It was about 14 hours. Mm -hmm. And we, had, we flew first class. And it, with first class, you get your own suite, right? We had the double like, suite because we were in the middle, so we were sitting beside each other. Uh, but we did have a wall up if we feel like looking at each other. We could have put a wall up, but we didn't. We, we kept it down the whole time. Except for that one time you tried to let it up. <laughs> I didn't let it up. You, uh -huh. you keep saying it was uh -huh. up the whole time. Uh, but No, it was it not. Was. It was. I went you to the bathroom and came back and it was up. <laughs> huh? I ain't about to do this. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. you get your own suite. In the suite, you get like a little, your own little mini bar. Your own TV. Your own like big screen TV. Yeah. Um, a little. A bed. Um, yes, you get a bed, you get a, a full mattress. Bed. They got a shower on this flight. Yeah. They got, you get your own menu where oh, yes. you got your own little treats where you don't have to call or wait for the little lady to walk, up, walk up the thing. You don't have to do that like the regular flights. You, it's sitting right there. Yeah. 
you got you control your own your own lighting, your own uh, uh, temperature. Air, you yeah. you can you control everything. I mean, and I'm six two, and I'm six two, and oh. I had plenty of room, stretched out, full bed. I mean, I slept like I was. He he definitely slept because when we got on the flight, he was like, "Man, I ain't gonna go to sleep yet because I want to make sure my sleep pattern don't get messed up." We hadn't took off yet, and we looked over, and Chance was <laughs> Chance was asleep. Chance went to sleep five minutes after we got on the plane. The lady had to come and tell him, um, sir, we need you to sit your seat up it was for so takeoff. Hey, I looked over, I said, man, I thought you were going, it is 4.30 in the afternoon. I thought, I thought you was going to stay up until tonight. He's talking about, man, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very comfortable. The, the, one of the things that I, that blew my mind that I never expected was they give you pajamas. Oh yeah, and slippers. And slippers. Yep. They give you pajamas and slippers. You go in the bathroom, yeah. change your clothes. All of their like uh, toiletries and stuff that, that you use are Bulgari or uh, Byredo, right? They have Byredo skincare, they have Bulgari, uh, body wash, hand soaps, uh, perfume, all in the bathroom. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, I kept mine too. Yeah, Chance took everything. Chance said, I'm leaving here with something. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> uh, but that was a flight. Flight was amazing. They even had a bar and lounge in business class. Uh, Kev went back there. I never made it back. When I tried to go back there, they had it blocked where they was giving out stuff to business class people. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go on back up here to the first class and buy my business, okay? Uh, but the flight was amazing. We got to Dubai. When we first got there, the first thing we both noticed was what about the airport? How quiet it is. It was quiet. It Eerie was, quiet. It was so quiet. We was like, quiet like you see the planes and the cars and, and it peaceful. Was, but it was quiet. Yeah. Like, like in LA. Out, we're talking about we're talking about out, not in the actual um inside. Inside. We're talking outside. about out on the like tarmac. It was just quiet. And, it's quiet and there yeah. was people working and clean like clean mm -hmm. like ridiculously clean yeah like no no leaves and mm -hmm. stuff nothing on the roadway just everything looked brand new and it was <laughs> really quiet yeah and, and the service yeah. was yeah impeccable like the people were so nice yeah um you know they they took us to like a little private lounge got our luggage and they took us to the car um, they actually took us to two cars. At first, they, when they picked us up, they took us to uh, one car, and that car took us to the lounge. Mm -hmm. Then the next cars took us to our hotel. We stayed at the Atlantis uh, Palm, not the Atlantis that Beyonce performed at, but her, but the cousin, okay, <laughs> first cousin. Um, we stayed. <laughs> We stayed at that, at that one. We were down the road. We were down, down the road, though. Around the corner, we're, we're, though. Okay? We was around the corner. We was down there, though. <laughs> we could see it. Yeah, yeah. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But everything, look. Everything, everything was beautiful. Everything in Dubai is beautiful. Mm -hmm. That is no exaggeration. Everything looks like it was just built. And Brand new. Technically, it was. 40 years ago, it was just desert in that area. They showed us, like, the pictures and stuff. Nothing that is there now existed 40 years ago. It's literally like they yeah. took pictures of all the most beautiful cities in yeah. the world and said, we'll put them all right here in Dubai. No it's graffiti. Amazing. Right. Nothing. No homeless. No. I, I, I'm, I can't remember any. Oh, the mall. I don't want to skip ahead, but yeah. the mall. So. You said you don't want to skip ahead. You gonna go and skip ahead? I'm gonna go on here. Oh, okay. they, they can catch up. So we stayed at the Atlantis. The Atlantis was beautiful. It was beautiful. All right, we stayed. Our room had three floors. Our room had fish in it. They had like an aquarium. Mm -hmm. So they have like a the side of the hotel that's like connected to the what is it? The Caribbean Sea? What is it called? No, not no, the Caribbean. Arabian, Arabian, Arabian Sea. Arabian Sea. So you can see the fish and uh, sharks. Shark, like all we, that. We, we from had our a room. shark that kept swimming by our. Uh, yeah. Our Only bedroom. downstairs. My bedroom. But you know me, I was looking to see if he could get out. I wanted to make sure that, you know, that they was free. <laughs> I don't want them getting mad at me because they capped them. I was yeah. like, wait a minute, they, they have access? Oh, okay. Yeah, but <laughs> our room was three floors, had it an elevator beautiful. in it. Yeah. And you, you go down to the bedroom, and the bedroom was below sea level. Yeah. Uh, which was crazy. Yeah, yeah. the Atlantis is an amazing uh, hotel. 
Beautiful. It was it was beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. But, Service amazing. But the mall. The mall. Which, what was the name of that mall? They got Dubai Mall. The Dubai Mall, but they in in Dubai they have a bunch of malls. They got apparently. malls, humongous malls all over the city. But we went to like the largest one that we only saw. What he said, maybe a quarter of. Yeah, he's no, he saw. We didn't even see a quarter. He said yeah. we only saw ten to fifteen percent, and we was in there for hours. The mall is so big; it has a cab inside of the mall. If you need to take a cab to, to yeah. the other side of the they, mall. Yeah, they got yeah, they got uh, little golf carts. Mm -hmm. Where they pick golf you up. Golf taxis. Golf taxis that yeah. drive you around. That's how big it is. So we kind of laughed at it when we got there. Like, well, we can walk. Mm -hmm. We saw 10 to 15% of the entire mall. And we was like literally on the move the entire time. The mall itself, how, so somebody had said, who was it that said to us when we got there, the mall is so clean yeah. that you can literally, people can take their shoes off. Wear white socks. Wear white socks and your socks will be white when you come out. Yeah. I kind of laughed at that. Like, man, y'all tripping. But when you get there and you <laughs> see the extent of uh, uh, to how hard they work to keep it clean, like you're literally walking through. If you touch something, somebody's they have people like, <laughs> with hand towels coming behind you and wiping your handprints. It was off very of clean. The stuff. It is clean. The rails on the escalators are <laughs> <laughs> clean. Yes. And and we went we went down an escalator and it had gold railings. Yeah. It's like something it in was, like a movie or something, you know, something that... Otherworldly. I told Tab when we got there, the first thing I thought about was coming to America. <laughs> That's the first that thing I thought Africa, about. That would be Africa, so that means you probably want to go to Africa. Probably want to go to Africa next. Ain't nobody said that. I said in Dubai, it, may, it reminded he me... He's still scared to go to Africa. No, yet. I'm not scared to go to Africa. You keep saying that. I'm not scared to go to Africa. The I'm not scared to go to Africa. I don't want to go to Africa to do what you want to do. Man, I want to go for vacation. Stay mm -hmm. focused. Mm -hmm. get, get, get back to it. So the mall was very clean. Mall was clean. And beautiful. The stores. Uh, everything was just super nice. The, uh, food was great. Didn't have as much vegan food as I would have liked. But I think that's because I didn't get to really venture out into like yeah. all of the vegan community and things like that. Um, I, we were there for a week. I feel like I needed a good 10 days to two weeks and I could have really got into it. Uh, but the places that we did go to, food was great. Uh, excursions, we went our first day to the jet cars in the marina. That was fun. Man. We it was had. fun, but, I, but listen, I know y'all saw the pictures, right? Yeah. But the pictures don't tell you is how how much pain me and Tab was in. Our eyes and face was on fire. We had so much fun for 10 So this minutes. Pacific, <laughs> the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. They ain't got nothing on that Arabian have, Sea. Have deceived most of us. You think you know what salt water is? Mm -mm. When you go to the Arabian Sea and that water hits your face, that salt feel like somebody threw hot grease on you. It's salty. Ooh. If it get in your eyes, it is hard to it's enjoy. It's burning. It burns. You, so if you go on the, the jet get you some goggles. Cars. Yes, if you go on the jet cars yeah. in Dubai, make sure you have on um, some like big glasses yeah. or like jet goggles or whatever, uh, and make sure your skin is just protected. Yeah, the the experience is is still fun. Amazing. It, it was amazing. We had a great time. But after about, so you get it, you get the car for an hour. Mm -hmm. After about 30 minutes, we was like, yeah, we cool. Okay, uh, we can wrap can it on up. Back in. <laughs> Listen, we my face is still kind of like broke out and stuff. I don't know if that was from the facial that we got, because we did do a spa day too, and I don't usually be letting people put stuff on my face, but my face was burning yeah, nah, my after. Face, I was like, well, Lord Jesus, but it was worth it. The that experience in, was worth it. That entire day, it took, it took, for me to take about two showers for me to feel like, hey, my eyes were okay. Yeah, eyes mm -hmm. were burning. Yeah. Uh, Kevin uh, Melissa said the same thing. Mm -hmm. They was like, ooh, that was rough, but it was fun. But they got, yeah. so a lot of things that we passed too, um, that I shared with Tab then, because everywhere we went, Kev, Tab, and Melissa fell asleep in the car. My paranoia does not allow, well, Melissa was up for the majority. You and Melissa was up. I, my paranoia, but Me Melissa, and Kev had been working, Melissa, so we were Melissa, tired. No, y'all just fall asleep. No, we was, we be working a lot, so we can take a little break where we can get it. Two minutes into every car ride, y'all are on the nod. Gone. 
like that, <clears throat> just like that. But I was saying, <laughs> I was saying, don't judge me and Kev. Dubai has everything. When I say everything to do, yeah, they had skydiving, dirt bike uh, rides. You could do ATV literally in the, the ATV in the desert. Hot air balloons. Hot air balloons. You could ride snorkeling. cars in the ocean. You can do uh, jet skis. The people in the ocean. be snorkeling or you scuba can, diving. I can't go, imagine what they are. You can go like. in, at our hotel. At our hotel, you can go swim with the sharks. You could, yeah. We could have we could have opted to go it. swimming with the sharks. You you name it, you can do it. We're just literally riding down the, the uh, freeway, and they got a skydiving center. I mean, like yeah. state of the art. You can literally go and just be like, "Hey, I want to go skydiving," <laughs> <laughs> and go up in the air and jump. It was. I mean, they definitely have a lot to do. We went on a desert excursion. Yeah, desert that excursion. That was my favorite. Oh, we went to a show too to, to La Perla. <laughs> to La Perla. That was probably the best show. It was. I had ever dozed off. Of. <laughs> Not and then nothing against the show. The show was amazing. We was just this. We, we, that jet lag was killing no, us. No, all jokes aside. It was an amazing. I don't show. even know what you call that. That's not what do you call it, that building? What would you call it? It was a, it was their theater. I guess. I mean, it, it was their like stage this, um, studio. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it ain't really like a. It's like a. It was theater season. They had though. things coming out of the wall. Water. They had water coming from all over the place. Big pool in the middle Filling of the floor. It, it had like so many moving pieces that to call it like a theater is like an understatement. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen anything like that. It was amazing. In, in any thing I've ever attended, any plays, any so it's not that's not a play. It's a show. Yeah, it's like it's, a, it's like a Vegas show, like a uh, what is it circus. They so late. What is that? You know, so whatever that is. Um, but I don't know if. But, I, I, but it was amazing. Yeah, that was. And I, all and the I times hate that, that we, we uh, for the part that I I did get to see. I can tell you, it was probably one, of the, probably the best performance I've ever yeah. sat live and watched. Yeah. You know. We got some nature. footage, y'all. But we. See but you, so, just so you, just for the people who don't know, you are literally when it's five. PM here is five and AM there. Yeah. And we only had a week, a few days oh, there. So we had to adjust. It's an so eleven was, hour difference. Yeah. And we did that on day two. So our jet lag mm -hmm. was literally kicking in. Yeah. We thought we was good because the show was at like six thirty. So we was like, yeah, we good. As soon we, as we got there, we started getting sleep. But we did good for the rest of the trip. We did. We adjusted and made our We took you know. took naps in the car. Yeah. That's why so that's why I was taking naps in the car. Cause I wanted to make sure I was awake for whatever excursion we was going on. Me and Kev. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man, you were asleep one time too so in the you, car. So you said. So the, anyway. Your, your, the, if, if you had to choose from the entire trip, what was the most enjoyable experience? I mean, I loved it all, but I really loved the desert. It was just something about taking my shoes off and walking in the sand. Oh, cause the fun fact that we learned. So at our hotel, cause it was on the beach. The sand was hot. Like to walk on it, like it burned your feet. But in the desert, it's hot in the desert. Take your shoes off, the sand is not hot. And so we learned that Actually, it's it because the sand in the desert doesn't have salt in it. So that's why the salt is what makes the sand hot mm -hmm. by the beach. But in the desert, man, it felt like, I don't know, it you was know, soft. it was so soft. Mm -hmm. And there was just such a connection, I feel like, with the, with the earth, you know. And to look out as far as you can see, and all you see is sand dunes, man, with like maybe 12 trees on the land. Like it was just, and, and some of the trees they say were over 300 years old. And there was one tree, this was amazing to me. There was like one like bushel of trees that the, he pointed out. He was like, those are the poisonous trees, right? So the leaves are poisonous. Oh yeah. And so the camels and the antelope, like the wildlife, they know that that tree is, is poison. But if they ever don't feel well, they are having a stomach ache, they go and they eat one leaf off the tree and it causes them to like pass whatever is in their stomach that is not well, because it's like a laxative almost. They was like, but if a human eats that one leaf, you might be tore up for about three, three or four days, like terrible stomach, diarrhea constantly. But I just thought it was amazing that the animals knew if they had a stomach ache to go and eat one leaf off the tree. That's just like, so amazing how 
you know, God created every single thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and even animals know what works, right? So, uh, but being in the desert, and for me, being able to see camels, I wanted to see camels so very bad. I think I've added a camel to my list. I know I want a cow. Now I might have to rescue a camel. When we get some land out in the country somewhere, probably gonna have a cow and a camel and a mule, a donkey, because those are so cute and sweet. But I don't believe in riding animals. Y'all know um, I've never even rode a horse, never intend to ride any animal. Um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> we talking about animals. So, <laughs> um, but I got to see these camels. They were like walking out in the desert. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> y'all want to stop and see them and connect with the camel. And so we got to, our guide let us stop in the desert. And so the men that were, you know, trans, uh, Trans, not transferring, but you know, they, no, no, they were guiding the camel, like they were going somewhere. They stopped and let me like, like, you know, have a moment with the camels and the camels have the thing over their mouth. And I was always told that, you know, they spit. So that's why they have their mouths covered. But what I learned is when they're traveling, they covered their mouth. Cause the men, it was just the camels in the, like two or three men only camels that were in the desert. When they're traveling, they cover their mouth because a, a camel will stop anytime it sees grass and it will, it will not listen. It will not stop eating until it's all gone. So in order to keep them moving, they have to cover their mouths. I said, they got a greedy spirit like Tab. Like, we, <laughs> we so much alike. When I see a salad, I'm going to eat it too until it's all gone. <laughs> but just like their nature and, and, and how they learn from the camel. So the, Clearly, this was my favorite part. So the camels, the, the desert is very hot, right? But so the camel's legs are so long and they, their body is so high off the ground. And that's why their bodies are so high off the ground to keep them cool from the heat from the, from the desert, right? The other thing is the way that they're, they're not paws, but I guess hooves, their feet are made. It's that's, probably, that's probably the easiest way to say it. A hoof? No, their feet. Their feet, the way their feet is made. <laughs> It, it's almost like flat, like a, like, like, a, like a flat tire. So when they started driving, you know, in the desert, they took that from a camel and was like, oh, in order for us to be able to drive well, we have to take the air out of the tire so we can drive through the desert. So like a camel's foot in the desert. I thought that was amazing. I was like, look how we learning from the animals on how to exist uh, in the world. But it was just wonderful. They are, what I, what I loved about that, was learning how much they value. So they, mm -hmm. they value the camel and they um, protect the camel yeah. because of what, they, what the camel has done for their country. Yeah. Um, the camel, the falcon, and then there's a dog. a dog. It's a certain kind of hound that are the, uh, no, and then the, uh, what was the one? Oh, the, the white of, antelope. The white antelope. Yeah. Those are the four, uh, protected animals in the country. There's no and hunting it, allowed. You can't kill them. Can't kill them. And they treat or harm and, them. and camels, it is so severe that if a camel is looked at like a human. Yeah. And they they really put a strong emphasis on it to make sure that you understand that their camels are free. They're not captured. They're not they do certain things to protect them and make sure they like they it was it was amazing to me to find out that they had a hospital uh, for, for the, the camels. camels, strictly yeah. for camels, where they go, they, and they on go. this. It was like almost like a reservation yeah. or reservoir, Swimming, whatever they, they pools, called it. They got everything for yeah. for the camels. If you harm um, a camel or kill a camel, it's the same punishment yeah. as if you harmed or human. killed a human. Yeah. Um, mm. In this area of the desert where we were at, yeah. I just was like, that was that I was pretty that. amazing. Yeah, because for me, you know, I, I'm not about. I don't like. I don't like zoos anymore. I don't like anything that keeps an animal hostage yeah, from being okay. free. So, Tab said, I'm glad you brought that up. I don't like that. <laughs> so look, obviously Tab's favorite part was I, I be loving the camera. animals. <laughs> now, my favorite part, until Tab messed it up for everybody, was the falcon. So we had, what was my man's name? Uh, Yusuf. Yusuf. <laughs> so Yusuf, 
So they got a falcon show, all right? So we're out on this desert thing and they supposedly were supposed to be. Falcons are really big in Dubai, apparently. Really, really big, right? And they're, they're in a protected class as well. And I'm like, man, like a little kid, I'm, I hurry to my seat. Saying. I'm like, man, this is going to be good. We about to see a falcon fly. This is going to be good, my man. Like, that's come what they over do. Here. So he's like, anybody want to touch the falcon? Pop, I'm up out my seat. Yeah, I want to take a picture with the falcon. I want to touch the falcon. So I take the picture. I do not. I stand there, I take the picture. Uh, Kev take the picture, Melissa take the picture, everybody going along with the program. Falcon is cool, got his little, he took the mask off the Falcon, let us take pictures and everything, right? Tab sitting back and he come over and he's like, you don't, you, you don't want to touch it. He said, and you I don't want to take a picture? So I, said, no, I tried I to, no, so picture. I tried to get ahead of it because I know my wife. I, I like, told no, the I man I didn't want to take the picture, I didn't want no part to this. I'm a I vegan, said, I want the animals to be free. <laughs> I said, nah, she don't want to, she don't want to. He was like, he, and he insisted, touch. So I tried to help. I was like, Tab, just, he's soft, right? Tab touched him, and I see her go. I prayed for the falcon. She, I said. <laughs> now, they, look, they everybody, me alone. listen, everybody had touched the falcon, and the falcon was fine. Everybody touched the falcon normal. Tab, touch the falcon. I said, and, and look, the falcon do this. This is what the falcon do. I said, oh, Lord. Look, then he say, so look, then he say, he do like this. Falcon, falcon right here, falcon. Tab, touch him on the underbelly, right? He said, touch it on the back and touch it gently. He I said, Told him tab said, Tab did like this. The bird <laughs> go <laughs> start. <laughs> the man, before you know it, the bird then flew and is flying backwards. Got the mask on, bird gone. Bird flying away. And my man ran and jumped in the car, came back an hour later. And found a bird. While we sitting there, Tab, everybody laughing and joking. Tab, what did you do? Tell them what you said to the bird. All I did was, first of all, I told them I didn't want to rub. I don't want no part of this. You didn't have to mess it up for us. All I did was when the man, first of all, I was sitting down. I wasn't even over there. Yeah. He brought the falcon over to me. I tried to explain. I had already said, listen, I don't, really, I don't like seeing animals in captivity. I have a very you know, strong belief in this and I, I don't like it. You should listen to me when I told you that. The man was adamant and brought it over there. This one, he know me. Babe, it feel like a dog, just, just touch it. I was like. So I, I said that so, so she could kind of <laughs> see it, how she see black. <laughs> so when I touched the falcon, I said, you're supposed to be free. You're supposed to be free. Amen. Amen. And when I did the first time, he said. That bird said. Kev said that bird said, what? <laughs> Kev said that bird said, ah, ain't nobody ever spoke life into me like this. Ah. <laughs> that bird said, I've been waiting all my life for Tab to get here to tell me this. And when any man made me do it again, so I said it again. I was and like, you're supposed, said, you're supposed to be free. Confirmation. That bird said. I, I think the bird said. Oh, that was the bird said, I'm out. I'm out. Messed I was up the whole show. They over there, like Tab, she is talking about babe. <laughs> like, what I, do? I I told y'all I didn't want to do this, okay? The bird flew away. The only show we got to see was the bird flying backwards. <laughs> the whole time. His the whole man, face was covered. His the whole, whole time the covered. man kept saying, up, <laughs> up, up. So he was doing this thing with his hand. No, no, he was doing it. He, so he has this, this uh, little he has thing. this tool that they use to. Help the to, bird fly that, and do that, whatever. That, that um, they train the birds with, right? So he kept hitting it. To, <laughs> and usually the bird would try to respond to it, right? So if you smack it on the ground, the bird sees that as, a, as, a, as prey, and it'll come back. That's how they keep it tame. And he kept saying, it, it went, I'm telling you, it went, up, <laughs> up. <laughs> and his confidence, every time he said up, <laughs> his Oh. Every time he said up, his confidence went down. The more he said up, the more the bird went up. 
Well, my man uh, came back. In a way. My man came back. His glasses was gone. His oh. cool was gone. All that was gone. He was he a was nice so man, humble. though. He was the nice man. He was man. humble. Uh, listen, I, I say all that to say, look, it was still fun. It, it was, but I, listen. It was the, it, that was the most enjoyable part. The, but the good me. thing and, that and, we learned. Well, he did. He taught us a lot. He, he did. He taught us about the history yes. of the Falcon, why they, you know, love and adore them and they protect them and stuff. They got their own passports. Yeah, when they, you know, they travel. They try to make sure that the breed, I guess, lives forever. Yeah. Um, but also that... <laughs> 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 that they have them, you know, because there's like no guns, no hunting, and all those th type of things. But I guess like prior to back in the days, like they used falcons to hunt. Like that was how they yes. got food and, and yes. things like that. So it was a way of life for them. So and like the, out of respect for the and culture, the dog. right? Excuse me, out of respect for the culture, I was like, okay, I I like to learn. Uh, but I was just like, man. So they were like, for they they have them during the winter and spring but in summer you have to release them that that's used to be how how it was because so, it gets so hot that the desert would would kill them like it would be too hot so you got to allow them to go um but i was just like amazed by that information but i tried to tell them leave me alone i don't i don't want no parts of that. i ain't want no was, parts of it it was fun but i got then, to, i got I, to free the falcon but then the, then the other the other thing that was really enjoyable was we met this magician who was outstanding. Oh man. He's probably What was his uh, name? I I tried to remember. Hope his name. said he reached out and I he he wanted uh like when he come to LA he said he would do a party or something for us. Hey, he is amazing. It was yeah. mind blowing. We still can't figure out how in the world he did what he did. He was yeah. good. He's he's the best yeah. I've ever seen. And he just came to our, our table. We were having dinner. He just yeah. you know, they were like, Would you like like a little magic show? We like Okay, we just thought it was gonna be a little regular card trick or something. Hey, and I was, that man blew us away. I was patting this dude down, like trying to like find like. <laughs> Chance was looking know, at him like. First of all, Chance was stuck for about twenty minutes like this. Yeah. Like what? Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> What's going on? We listen. We're we gonna have we're gonna have all the little things for y'all to see. Yeah. Like what, what what what's going on with you? You gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. We're about to wrap up anyway. Yeah. We, did, uh, we didn't mention it, but we went to the Grand Mosque, and that was when Crystal Mark helped us with like buying the coverings for our head. Me and Melissa was like so <clears throat> concerned about being respectful at the Grand Mosque and covering and making sure we were right. Uh, but we all did it. We all got dressed in our, um, the traditional uh, uh, clothing to make sure we were covered and respectful to the culture, to their religion. And it was beautiful. Like the structure, the building, the like this architecture, man, it's it's royalty, right? Uh, but just beautiful. I mean, it's the best word, word I can think of. Mm -hmm. And that was in Abu Dhabi. So if you get a chance to go to Dubai, make sure you go to Abu Dhabi, see the Grand Mosque, see the museum. What was the name of the museum? I forgot the name of the museum. Mm. I will insert it too, but. Um, the museum was amazing. Like, it was just amazing. I made sand art. It was just amazing. It was beautiful. <laughs> the last thing we're gonna leave you with: we had an amazing. We had two amazing guys. Outstanding. Um, uh, Crystal and Mark. Yeah. Shout out to Crystal and Mark. Y'all were amazing. They, from the time we got to the airport, picked us up, made sure we got to our hotel, any dinner reservation, any excursion, everything, even to the mm -hmm. mall. They took us every single place, uh, made sure that we were well taken care of and safe, and it, it was absolutely amazing. And this, I, this point, if you like me, with travel and uh, new places, and you have, you're very paranoid, and yeah. your anxiety kicks in with the thought of it, this is, if you need people like this, it's worth the expense. Yeah. They made me feel so comfortable. Um, I asked, because I didn't want to offend anybody, I was asking, hey, is there anything culturally that we shouldn't do or that we should do? I could ask, I felt like I could ask any question without being um, rude or, you know, being judged. Um, they, in terms of safety, just what they did in preparation to make sure that, because I, I shared it with them right off the bat. Hey, listen, I need to feel safe. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask a lot of questions. Um, 
I need to make sure I ain't offending nobody, and hey, I, and everywhere I go, I need my passports with me. I'm paranoid. <laughs> no, you can't hold them. If you do, you can see them, but you can't they, hold but, them. Great um, thing they had pictures they, of our passports. And they, everything. Yeah, they, they were, went over and yeah. beyond with making sure that if we made a mistake or it, that they had it covered. They had pictures. They made sure that um, to get ahead of it. Once they learned that about me, they was pulling me to the side. Hey, Mr. Brown, this is yeah. this is what's gonna happen. This is what you can do. You don't have to do it. You can, you know. That made me feel really well. Yeah, they were um, amazing. And then, then the other thing that I really wanted to, since I, that, that just made me think of something else. I know there's a lot of people like me. That's why I want to say that. <laughs> there's paranoid about travel. Um, international travel. International traveling, yeah. The people in Dubai were amazing. Like, we've been places, and I've shared with Tab that I did not feel as if they genuinely um, cared for Americans. All right. You mean in other places? In other places. Mm -hmm. But in Dubai, man, it was some of the. I, everybody I, was so nice. Everybody was nice. And it wasn't like we're nice because you're here spending money, in other words. It felt like you're just one of the people. And this is what we do. Everybody was nice. It yeah. was like everybody was polite. Everybody was. It, the service was just the service amazing. was just amazing. Everywhere we mm -hmm. went, yeah. Um, everywhere I went, I felt like I, I was okay to be there. I felt like you know, this is normal. Mm -hmm. That that's that's just my my impression of Dubai. Yeah. Um, but everywhere we went, it was I didn't get that thing where it was like, hey, we're gonna be super nice to you, so you come back and spend more money. It felt like we're so no, happy to see you. We just we're happy that you're here. Yeah. We want you to have the best experience because everybody here is happy and they're having the best experience. Yeah. They yeah. also were so open to teaching us about the culture. Yeah. Right, which is what I loved, you know. Um, even like with the whole uh, cup of coffee. Yeah. What we learned another thing we did in the desert, we had like a little private dinner and we got to learn about coffee and how they communicate through coffee. So there was a, a moment where they told us, you know, you accept coffee when they give it to you. You always accept it with your right hand um, because the left hand is used for the restroom. Mm -hmm. And so it's out of respect. You, you know, accept it with your right hand. Uh, and then also, like, if you go to someone's house and they offer you a cup of coffee, if the cup of coffee is half full, that means come on in. Let's, you they, know, they're welcoming, you. they're welcoming you to stay a while and they'll refill your cup as much as you need it. But if they give you a cup of coffee and it's full, that means drink your cup of coffee and be on your way. I'm very busy and today. Get up out I, of here. I can't, I can't, I ain't got time for you today. And I thought that was amazing. So they do that through coffee so they don't even have to have an uncomfortable conversation with you. You, you already know what it is. Yeah. Right? Uh, so I just thought, wow, like just them teaching us those little things, it was just amazing. That's it. Dubai, we thank you. We love y'all. We can't wait to come again. Um, and... Anything else, babe? Nope. That's it. All right. Well, until next time, honey. Uh, where y'all think we should go next? Oh, it's, I think somebody said Africa. No. They didn't say it? Mm-mm. It looked like that's what somebody said right I ain't there. heard nothing. I think they said Vegas. Y'all going about y'all business. Honey, have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's here. Let me go to Vegas one more time. One more time. Lord have mercy. Black Jack. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> we going to Vegas. Thank y'all for watching. And don't forget to click here for more episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Very good. <laughs>